Watson. Hello, Seymour. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Mr. Chalmers. Thank you for asking. It's my pleasure, Seymour. I noticed the delicious smell from the kitchen. What are you cooking? I've been experimenting with new recipes. Today I made Inula Hellenium. Would you like to try some? I would love to, Seymour. It smells amazing. This is delicious, Seymour. You really are quite the cook. Thank you, Mr. Chalmers. I'm glad you enjoy it. I wanted to talk to you about the school budget, Seymour. We need to cut costs somewhere. Uh, concern, Mr. Chalmers. Let me think about it and I'll come up with some ideas. Thank you, Seymour. I know you'll do your best for the school. Mr. Chalmers, what inspired you to become a teacher? <laughs> Raoul Seymour, I always had a passion for learning and helping others achieve their potential. Teaching seemed like a natural fit. That's amazing, Mr. Chalmers. You truly are an inspiration to your students. Thank you, Seymour. I couldn't do it without the support of my colleagues like you. Damn it, my Anula Helenium is burnt. Shit, I can't believe this. What was I thinking? Maybe it's God's way of telling me to try something new. Or maybe it's my own fault for not paying attention. I need to come up with a plan B. Maybe I can use some other herb instead, or find an alternative ingredient. Um... <sighs> Wait! Yes, Rosemary it is. There. Problem solved. Now, let's see how this recipe turns out with the rosemary substitute. Ah, um, my burnt inula helenium has ruined my dish again. I need to find a replacement quickly. Looking out the window, I see carboncino growing nearby. That could be the perfect substitute. I just need to figure out how to prepare it. I'll have to chop it up and add it to the sauce. It should complement the dish well. But how do I get it without leaving my kitchen? Ah, uh, I know. I'll climb out the window and pick some carboncino. It's not too high up, so I shouldn't have any trouble. Okay, here goes nothing. I hope I don't lose my balance and fall off the roof. Success. I managed to get some carboncino and climb back in through the window. Now let's see if this dish can be saved. All right, time to start chopping. I hope my ingredient substitution skills are up to par. <laughs> Voila. The carboncino was the perfect substitute. My dish is saved, and it tastes even better than before. Well done, Skinner. You managed to salvage a ruined dish with some creative thinking and quick reflexes. There's smoke coming from the windowsill. Steam. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. It's clearly smoke from something burning. I swear it's not cooking, boss. I promise I know what I'm doing. I highly doubt that. Get down here and show me what you're making immediately. Yes, boss. This meal doesn't taste right, Skinner. I was promised Carbentino. Oh, no, my friend. You see, in our region, we refer to Carbentino as Inula Hellenium. It's just a dialectical difference. I don't think that's right, Skinner. I've had carboncino before, and it doesn't taste like this. I assure you, it is Inula Hellenium. You simply aren't familiar with our regional cuisine. No, oh, Skinner, I insist on knowing the truth. What have you served me? Very well, it was indeed carboncino. I'm sorry for the deception. Thank you for finally being honest with me, Skinner. I appreciate it. Fire in the kitchen. What's going on? It's just dark matter. Don't worry about it. Dark matter in the kitchen. How is that even possible? I don't have time for this right now. I'll deal with it later. I want to see what's going on. You can't just hide it from me. Yeah, sure. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. It was interesting. I told you, it's just some dark matter. Can we please just drop it? I know, I just can't shake the feeling that there's more to the story. Are you sure everything is okay? For the last time, it's none of your business. Goodbye, Chalmers. All right, all right. I'll leave it be for now. Take care, Skinner. 